it, it, that sounds kind of general. I mean, specifically, I just so go back to my brother being um, psychologically and, and well, learning disabled and psychologically disabled, and I don't want to outshine him and outshine my mother who, you know, almost got her master's degree, but she didn't quite get it. So the idea about going past a master's degree or, or past, you know, doing what I really want when she didn't get to do what she really wanted makes me think that she'll feel really sad. So it's a way of, that I'm taking care of her, but it's a way that I'm... Okay. Now... She doesn't want that. It's me. Yeah. Well, it, see, that's your emotional response. Okay. Uh, well, what I asked you was, is, is that logically, does that make logical sense? The fact that if you are successful out there, that indeed your family members and other people are all going to feel bad because you're successful. Maybe a tiny bit, but, but I feel it probably this much. You, emotionally, it's like this. Yeah. Logically, it doesn't have much truth to it. Right. Okay, but emotionally, that's how it lands. Right. Okay. See, now what's, what's really important, I, I often use this logical thing. I'll ask somebody if it's logical. If it was logical to her, that yes, if I, if I am indeed successful out there, I'm the bright, shiny Beth, uh, and I show all my talents in, in, in all of this, uh, and excel in this world, that these other people are indeed going to feel really bad, and I am therefore responsible. If that really was her logical response, well, I have a much different issue to deal with than if her response is, no, that's not really logical, but I do have that emotional mm -hmm. thing. Okay, that, that's really important to recognize. I, I do that quite a bit, because I want to I know if some of these beliefs are logically true or not. That has followed me all my life. That has followed me all my life. And has established things in me. And has established things in me. About not being good enough. About not being good enough. That may not be true. That may not be true. In fact, let me, let me stop one second. You and I had this discussion on the telephone, and I asked you about the not being good enough. I said, is it true logically? And what, what did you say? No. It's not true logically. Logically, it's not true. So logically, you can just stand back and look at, here's Annie, you know, and there's nothing really wrong with her. She's good enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. But emotionally, you don't respond that way. No. That's very important. The, the logic goes out the window. What we, what we try to do is collapse enough of the emotional response, the emotional inside job, so that um, the logic starts to come in. Yeah, I'm okay. You know, and so we don't have this, this big thud that goes on every time something happens, oh, I'm not good enough. Okay. I, I'm speaking to you as a, as a logical engineer right now, Mark, mm -hmm. because, you know, father dies, he makes a promise to you, he makes a promise to you, and then he dies. Um, it's pretty hard logically to get mad at him for that. Mm -hmm. Logically, I'm speaking logically. Yeah. Emotionally, you have a different response. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to get to.